my name is Hannah Smith and I'm the 2015 summer intern at the Topsfield Conservation Commission. Today I'll be informing you about the winter moth and what it can be done to prevent it from eating all of our trees. The winter moth originated in Europe, somehow it was brought over to here. Um, it can be found in the northwest and also on the north shore, along with regions in Canada. Since it did not originate here, it's considered an invasive species. Winter moths are very destructive to the trees. It is very likely that you've seen a winter moth or a winter moth larva before. The winter moth larvas are green with white stripes running down their backs and they can go up to about one inch long and they're commonly called inchworms. The adult moths are brown with, and they look a little bit hairy if they're males and if they're females they're gray and wingless and can often be found climbing up trunks of trees. Winter moth caterpillars hatch in the late springtime after about 20 to 50 growing degree days. Then they climb up the trunks of trees and balloon. Ballooning is when the larvae use buoyant strands of silk to disperse. The caterpillars will then munch on leaves such as oak, maple, basswood, ash, cherry, blueberry, and spruce. And about mid-June, they will bury into the ground for the pupa stage. In November, they will emerge as adults. The male adults like to go around lights, whereas the female adults like to climb up trees. After mating, the female adults will lay the eggs in lichen and in bark. After this, the life cycle is complete and they'll die by January. The winter moths are very destructive to trees. Sometimes a tree might have to produce a second foliage because the first one was completely eaten by winter moths. This tree here is a red maple and it has been eaten by winter moths. You can see the holes in the leaves where they were eating. As you can see, winter moths can be very harmful. This is why we need your help. Winter moths are impossible to get rid of, but you can decrease their numbers, which help decrease the number of trees being harmed. One way we recommend is tree banding. In this process, you can wrap your tree with paper, plastic, or cloth. A great product for wrapping trees is Saran Wrap. It's cheap and can be found at most grocery stores. Another product you can use is Tangle Guard. It's a little bit more expensive, but it is used for tree banding specifically. You can secure these on the tree by using a little bit of masking tape, duct tape, duct tape. <laughs> Lots of people actually like to put two bands of Saran Wrap or Tangle Guard, whatever you want to use. So when the first one fills up, the moths can climb to the second one and still get stuck, so it's still effectful. Next product that you're going to use is Tanglefoot. Tanglefoot is used to trap the female moths on the tree. It also traps the male moths because when the female moths are stuck on there, the male moths are attracted to them and therefore go on the tree and get stuck. This stuff is really sticky, so you're going to want to use a paint stick or something that you can throw away after. You can apply the Tanglefoot by taking a little bit on your stick. It's really strange, so be careful. And putting it on the wrapped area of the tree. Make sure that you don't put it on the tree bark itself. By doing this, you can prevent trees from being eaten. Your participation really matters and we really appreciate it. If you have any questions, you can go on our webpage, the Topsfield Conservation Commission one, or you can call us at 978-887-1510. Thanks for watching our video.